Well, thank you for watching our podcast again. Uh, let me mention three things this week that uh, have occurred here in Washington that uh, I think are significant. Uh, first, uh, this uh, really occurred all around the country, and that is that the, uh, the federal government uh, began on the 1st of August uh, as part of the implementation of the Affordable Care Act, uh, began to provide preventive care services to women uh, in a great variety of uh, different areas. Uh, these are services that we provided for, we uh, included in the Affordable Care Act. Uh, and in the Affordable Care Act, we said that uh, people under Medicare, uh, people in student health uh, uh, clinics, uh, would, would have access to these services without having to pay a copay or a deductible. So that uh, we want to encourage people to take advantage of these preventive services. Uh, in the long run, it saves the country money. Uh, it saves individuals a lot of heartache and, and uh, uh, problems that arise from, from getting seriously ill. And uh, so that, that's an important thing I urge everyone to uh, take the time and look into what uh, is now available beginning August 1st. Uh, I think it is, is quite significant and will help many people in our state. Second item I wanted to mention is uh, a hearing we had this week in the Energy Committee on a bill that I've introduced which would uh, provide a secure source of funds to build out and complete the construction of various rural water systems around the country including uh, the Eastern New Mexico rural water system, which we've authorized at the federal level and just, just begun to uh, help the state uh, construct it, but uh, there's there are many years of construction ahead. <clears throat> As many of you may know, uh, we in the eastern part of New Mexico, the communities there, uh, the community of Clovis and many of the other smaller communities are dependent upon the groundwater in the Ogallala Aquifer, which underlays eastern New Mexico as well as uh, much of West Texas. And the amount of water in that aquifer continues to decline. It's being used for agriculture and other reasons. What we need is a alternative secure source of water and this, uh, this eastern New Mexico rural water project will bring water from the Ute Lake down uh, to be used uh, in those communities. So we need to get this done. The bill that I've introduced would, would provide a secure source of funding for the next uh, several years so that that could be completed. Uh, on the Senate floor, the other item I wanted to talk about is uh, our efforts to strengthen the protections against cyber attacks on the uh, internet, uh, uh, attacks to our computer systems, uh, tax to our electric grid. Uh, we have been trying here in the Senate this week to get agreement to move ahead and pass a bill on uh, strengthening uh, these, uh, these protections against cyber attacks. Unfortunately, we have not been able to get the votes to do that. There's been strong resistance. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of that's come from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce because they didn't want any additional requirements put on uh, various of their members. But the long-term uh, uh, security of the country depends upon us having in place uh, adequate protections. I hope we can come back to this issue again in September and uh, pass a bill, get agreement on a bill, and pass a bill so that we can head off and, and prevent the kinds of uh, uh, catastrophic failure of our uh, electric grid or uh, uh, our computer systems, which could uh, do great damage to our economy and to a lot of individuals. So that's what we've been working on. We are now going into a period, so-called work period, uh, for the rest of August. Uh, I, I will be back in New Mexico. I'll be traveling around the state, uh, uh, meeting with folks and, and learning about uh, issues that we need to give attention to. Uh, we come back into session after Labor Day and uh, we'll, we'll be in session then for about four more weeks before the end of the regular session of the Congress, which will probably end the, uh, the first week in October. So that's a rough schedule of what we're gonna be doing. We won't be doing another podcast until September when we get back. 
Uh, I hope uh, you're, you're still interested in our activities at that time, and we'll, uh, we'll uh, look, look for our podcast in, in early September. Thank you very much.